Hi friends, how are you? You might notice that I am somewhere different today. I'm in my backyard. As I was thinking about our summer of wonder, I was realizing how much we can think about just in our own yards, in our own gardens. We can listen for birds. I can hear, I don't know if you can hear that, but we have some cardinals at our house, I think I told you about, that have been growing up. And so we've watched them from the little babies to being kind of teenagers and all the way up to getting their red feathers and their orange beaks, and they are now grown-ups. It's pretty special. And I can think about how our bodies move. I can think about water and beautiful places that we get to visit. I can think about motion and physics. I can do all kinds of things outside. And one of the things I can do outside is pray. Sometimes it's easy to get stuck in a routine when we pray. That happens to us at all ages. Maybe you know a certain prayer and you say it every day. And it can start to feel like you just know the words, but the words don't really mean anything to you. So sometimes what helps me when I start to feel that way is I go somewhere else to pray. And today, I went outside. As a reminder, our prayer tables at home can be made of things that we have around our house. They don't have to have materials that were made just for that. Right now, I'm using a quilt that someone made for Jack when he was a baby. It's one of my favorite things because it has fabric that came all the way from France. I don't know if you can see this, but it has little olives on it. And the person who made it for me, she and I went to France together a few times and it was a really special time. And when she made this, she made it with all of these special fabrics. And it makes me think about our trip together and it, it makes me remember her and that helps me to pray. I pray for her and I pray for France and I pray for all of the people who are there, even the ones that I don't know. I have an icon. This icon, I'll show you, is also an icon of Jesus. This is Jesus, the maker of everything. And it's nice to have this icon outside because it helps me think about how everything I see around me, these trees and this grass, all of the flowers in the world, the butterflies, the birds, the cicadas, the crickets, all of this is things that God has made, that Jesus has made. Jesus, the maker of everything. And then I put something that I got as a present from a friend of mine for my birthday last week. It's a whole bunch of really beautiful flowers that she sent me. And I don't know the names of all the flowers. I'm still learning about that. Maybe you learned from Miss Charity about gardening, so you might know some of these flowers. But I love the yellow and the red. It makes me feel joyful inside. And so I put that on my prayer table to help me remember how God has made the world really beautiful and how we can share that beauty with each other. Like, my friend sent me these flowers, and that's a way of sharing God's beauty. Or maybe we write cards to each other. Maybe you could write someone a card this week. You could write someone a note to say you're thinking of them, or draw them a picture. Maybe you could even do that for your parents, or for your brother or sister, or someone in your house, as a way to share the world with each other, and share what is so beautiful about it together. Our scripture talks a lot about how beautiful God made the world. And that's something it's fun to just enjoy sometimes. So maybe this week, you can take your prayer materials outside. You could find a table or even put a blanket on the ground. You could find new things in your garden or in your yard. Maybe a snail shell or a rock. Maybe something that you've never seen before, like a feather or... A new kind of plant and you could put it in your area and give thanks to God for it. That would be kind of special, wouldn't it? Today I want to say, God, thank you for the beautiful world that you've made and thank you for the beautiful people that I get to be in the atrium with because you also share God's beauty with me. You 
and these trees and these birds, all of you remind me of how beautiful God is. There's a song, maybe by now you know that I like to sing songs at my prayer table, that really helps me to pray this about you. It goes like this. I see the love of God in you, the light of God come shining through, and I am blessed to be with you, O holy child of God. I see the love of God in you, the light of God comes shining through, and I am blessed to be with you, O holy child of God. You are so special to God. You are a holy child of God. And I am blessed to be with you. I love that song. It tells us something really important. I just saw the bird. It tells us that in the midst of everything beautiful in this world, you are so special. You have a special kind of beauty that no one else has. Because God made you so special and so particular. Maybe this week, you could take your prayer table outside. You can put things on it that remind you of how beautiful God is. And maybe you could sing that song. Sing it to each other in your family or with people that you live with. Or maybe if you have a friend who's with you, you could sing it to them. Or even if you're just by yourself, you could think of someone and sing it to them even though they're not with you in person. Just like I'm singing it to you right now, even though you're not in my backyard. I am praying for you every day. And I see the love of God in you. I can't wait to be back together, friends. Bye.